Jessica. Which is a gray tree on the ground. There's an orange leaf oh, yeah. in his body. maybe a little over. Shot yes indeed, he tastes the disrespect. He was just, yeah. Get him clean. No way. Spider Man back up. They're straight up zombies. Look at that action. That's unbelievable. He's gonna land on the Hummer. I can't do that. Go somewhere, Guan. Give him some motivation, maybe catch him in the butt. I don't want to do that. I think he's gonna land on that balcony. I don't think he's gonna no, land on the Hummer. I don't think so. He'll cling over. I don't want him to land on the Hummer. All right, we got the Hummer iguana here. He's sitting over the Hummer. Jermaine says he won't damage it. We just might have to wash a car today. Hang on, he's closer now. Definitely washing the Hummer. <laughs> Got you, Iguana. He's still there. Mm -hmm. It's only like 35 yards right now. I can take it from this block. Roger that. It's already going. Whipping and flipping. Yes, ma'am. You've gotten a few out of your trees recently, right here. <laughs> well, thank you. It's always nice to get support. <laughs> Check out the shot. This guy was 25 yards. Ooh, a clean hole right in the ear. The, the brain's right in front of that, so this usually works out as a nice, humane shot, and it clearly did. Got you a block. Yeah. You might be able to snipe him off of the sea log. Yeah. Oh no, he's up the tree. He's up the tree, Pess. 
Hit height instead of going up. See about from this angle. See if I can see in. I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm moving my power down. He's right. Okay. Ready? Yeah, yeah. That was the back of his head. I hit. He's turned around sideways. See him? Oh, now he's jangling. I just loaded another shot so it's hot, but it's on safety. The honest is. He's going to hit the water. I hit him in the back of the head. Nice shot. I hit shot. five over. All right. And I put it on low power so that we wouldn't fling crazy pellets over there. But it is uh, just uh, trees and branches between the road and the house there for a good distance. He's so dead. If you get the pole, I can pull him. Copy. Okay, let me get my string. It's all tangled in here. Let me see if I can get this dangler out of here so we can get some credit for him. He is, his head is turned to the right, right in front of my pole. Can you see him? Right through there? It's going to be a reach. Ooh, that didn't work out how well. Okay. Snare should be right in front of him. Ooh, I might have it. There's a stick in the way. I'm going to knock him in. I think I told his head. I'm not scared about legs. Is that foot? I like to play the game where you have to hold the metal ring off of the other piece of wire or it will zap you. It's like playing that. Okay, I think I have it on his leg. There we go. Bring him in by the way. Ooh, almost broke the pole. Got a little kick in him right there. Let's bring him in and check out the shot. So the shot was coming in from the back of the head here. And you could see it actually exited the nose. It was straight through the back of the head, like I said. So we're going to go put another one in him, even though he's looking pretty rough. We're going to make sure he's all the way down. Got you a guana, a little green machine comes through. No, 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 I'm gonna get out of your way. You get where you need to get. I'm gonna get right here. This is super close. close. It's super close, like four yards, y'all. See if I can get him this right. Holding 10 over. That was on low power. Good shot. Thank you. So we had to scope all the way down to 10 yards, which is the lowest it goes, but it does see a little closer than that. That's the MTC Optics um, Mamba Light. And then um, we also put it on low power so that we aren't flinging a pellet. I'm not gonna get a ricochet that goes into one of these uh, windows or anything like that. This is like uh, shooting at six foot pounds or something like that. Hi, my name is Adam. Uh, I took first at EBR and the speed competition, and I took ninth in the Pro Bench Test competition. And I'm about to go shoot an iguana. You see Jessica in the background. <laughs> Look what he got in his hand. This is Adam. He got ninth in the pro uh, 100 yard at the bench rest uh, at EBR this past year in 2022. And he got first place in Sportsman Silhouette 
And so he's a super fast shooter, super accurate. He's come down to visit with us, which we greatly appreciate. He brought the wife who's hiding in the car. And um, we're super excited to hopefully find a guanas today. It's a little cool outside, so we'll see what we can find. This guy also racked up at the raffle. I did. Okay, yeah. but what all did you get at the raffle? Uh, an F on scope, ETR. Yeah, and uh, a gauntlet, another club, three scopes, a gauntlet. It was all kinds of stuff, yeah. You won every time they pull a ticket. He comes back, he's on my Instagram with a smile from ear to ear. Like coming back, like ding, ding, ding. And he, that was like the second thing he won. He won like four more times after that, you know. So um, let's go see if we can catch some iguanas or shoot some iguanas, yeah. I should say. And um, see how it works out. We'll keep going. Drop one in the water. You sure did. Where else? There might be one There's in here. There's something in the bottom of those branches down there, right over the water, too. The iguanas are moving. Wow. See, there's a Isn't few iguana just the stuck his head out? There's like, like six over there, y'all. Yeah, I see four right there in front of the orange one. Yeah, there's a lot. Sometimes they're all over here. They're yeah, just across sure. the water right now. There's a golf course behind this building. So if we shoot that orange one... Too. We're going to go get it. We're going to go get it. Okay. All right. Okay. I would stand with my gun and see if I saw anybody under the leaves, and we'll approach the tree carefully. That one is still under the leaves. Get him if he's still alive, because he'll just run and jump in the water. He'll lose him. Got the duck in the way. Yeah. Got it. That's the tail up. Got it. He's down. Yeah, he's down. Great shot. Do you want to sneak around the right side of the tree? Yeah. Or just in Let's case there's something in it? Let's go this way, Adam. Alright. They love this type of tree, by the way. So they'll be, look, see the sun hitting the tree? They'll be seeing all the stuff in the tree. So that, that weird call? So it's just another spot to look. And then um, this tree is a grape tree. And since we're in fall, there will be grapes in it, which means iguanas eat the grapes. Look, there's an iguana right there. Between the grape tree and the uh, silver button tree, which is the gray tree, on the ground, there's an orange leaf, oh, yeah, and his body's him. obscuring the leaf. Should I take that Where's he at? Do you see him? Yeah, he did. Do you want to come over here? It's a decent angle. Uh, yeah, from this angle. angle. Brought it back. Yeah, it's a nice angle one. I'd aim just a little bit lower and see if you even catch him in the shoulders. There. Whoa, Beautiful. look at that. If you're shooting high, that's a nice one. Yeah, you're shooting high. There's a lot. So one of your guys is right here. They'll also go up the tree, so just watch them up or down. Well, there's one right, right here. There's one right there. Oh, yeah, there's one right here, too. There's oh. a little one. Get yeah, who you want. I'm sorry I ran into you. <laughs> so he's... If you take a shot that one, you've got to get on the on the street side, right, so that the pellet's going back towards the canal and stuff. Yeah. Take him out. Yeah. Where's he at? I'm not sure I have a pellet that felt like a weak claw. He went up the, right here, right here, right here. Yeah, I see him. He's on the thing that looks like a papaya tree. Is there? Yeah. 
same breath, I can see one right here, peeking through the window. Right. See it? Yeah. I'm on the second power. I'm gonna do a five hold and see if I hit him. Oh no, it went under. Got him in the face, he didn't care. See the drip? Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, there's another the second one. one up there? I don't have to take away from you, dude. Like, if you want to take the shot, it's oh. a five hold right here for him. And you could just take it that way. I just don't want it taken towards the... Yeah. the how you doing? We're doing iguana removal. Yeah, cool. You guys want me out of here? No, you're good. No, you're, you're good. Fine. I just didn't want to... I was watching the lizards. They came from hunters. <laughs> No, you have a great day, brother. I think you could shoot this one under the bridge when the gentleman leaves. See the one under the bridge? See how dusty these iguanas look? That's yeah. iguanas that don't live in trees, they live in holes. Oh, the black ones over there? The yeah. grayish ones. They're covered yeah. in dirt from coming out the holes in the day. Yeah, there's like two or three of them sitting Are there? Over there. I only there. see one from right here. You want to shoot some of those? Yeah, that's funny. I strongly doubt that's anybody's property but the city's. Yeah. That's directly under the bridge. I just would wait for cars not to be stopped. Hey, our, uh, our dangler fell. Look, he's right there in the water. Oh, wow. There you go. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go get it. He got baptized. <laughs> so that first shot I had done looks like it had hit him in the chin. I wasn't holding high enough and a little left. And the second one actually got him in the ear, took him out. That's why he did the flip, came out his eye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go for it. Put it with Adam's iguanas. Well, we got uh, cars going. No, you're good. You should be able to take whatever shot you think is a safe shot. Are we, I think uh, I have it on mid power right now. There should not be a pellet in it, and it should be on safety. The mid power is. Uh, Who are you going for? That's probably about 20 yards. Right. I'll so. The one, the one. How far do you think that is? That's got to be about 20 yards, 25. I think it's like 12. No. Do well, no. I think it's further than that? Yeah, it is yeah. further than 12 okay. yards. Like, do it too. Who are you going for the upper the one, one or lower? The one that's sitting up on top of the rock with his head poked up. Roger. I swear you're going to have to hold slightly over. Ah. Nice work. That He's like, like so dead, head in like the water, tail out. Yeah. Alright, the next one. That's the tail. It is down there, behind that stone. So Jessica just retrieved the iguanas that Adam shot. She's done that once or twice before. <laughs> Oh, 
them. <laughs> so, this is what happens when Wisconsin comes down to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> How much snow y'all have right now? We both get 12 inches, yeah. 12 it's inches of snow. Like crazy right now. Yeah, you see this Florida sunshine there. <laughs> you should see the sweat on Jermaine right now. It is not one foot. That's not there. sweat, that's excellence. Yeah, excellence. It's, ex <laughs> it's excellence glistening on his head. We knocked that one out. Got yeah. your iguana. Number eight here, and it looks like this is clearly a, a dominant male, but the rest might be female here. I think we got all girls, and that was their one boy, so we took out his whole harem. Look at the uh, injury on this iguana. Oh, yeah. That's old injury. That's not from us. Yeah, for huh. sure. All right. So, took out quite a few iguanas. We haven't even been here that long. Hello. No, 20 minutes. <laughs> 20 minutes. <laughs> We actually have a second spot that somebody asked us to check out today, so we're going to see if we can go over there and see if there are iguanas out. Um, they get bigger ones, but people get cleaning the place out, so there might not be anything there. So, fingers crossed we find more, but uh, thanks so much for your help, Adam. Yes, thank How you for How did it work out me. for you? Awesome. Yes, great. <laughs> so, and the Atomic worked out for you? Absolutely. Yeah, it's so we have... We have lots of fun with the Atomic out there getting the iguanas. We're going to go see if we can find some more with a bigger gun. He's down. Nice yeah. work. That was the, yes, indeed. He curled up on that one. So there were two more iguanas. One jumped, but these were greens. But jumped up on one of these lower branches. Here's another one right here. Look. He's still sitting there. Picked up his head. He's moving left. Down. Look at the. Oh, man. I think he's dead. He's dancing for I it. I think he's dead. <laughs> Let's go check it out. All right. So as you approach. There's a couple more that were down here in the left. I think we should get this right in first row. Yeah, there's a couple there. Did he? That thing is so tough. Do you understand now why when I would go over and get him, I'd go, I got you. Got you, Iguana. Got you. <laughs> Let's go check him out. Let's go over trees. Oh, what was oh, that? Oh, that was a huge orange iguana. Yeah. <laughs> he was huge. Adam, we can kill that one, though. Oh, no, no, no. Maintenance person. And there's another one. No, let's just get what they're waiting on us. Let's go ahead and get what we got. Let's get this final. And uh, so he can get back to his duty. This is the back look of the box. Three of them. So look at what they're talking about right here. Spiny tail. He's different from the others, right? Yeah, he is. Gnarly guy. Cool. Good night. <laughs> oh, right through the eye. Got you, Iguana. <laughs> right? Little bitty guy sneaking up on us. Yes. <laughs> so Adam, I'm going to take them from you because they're getting so heavy, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, so tell me, what's the biggest difference about shooting some of these iguanas, reptiles, versus mammals you've shot? Like I think you, you've shot ground squirrels and stuff. Tons. What's the difference? These things are tough as hell. They will take a 22 round and keep going. I've shot some of these five times, I think. And no matter if you shoot a squirrel with a 22 round body shot, it's gonna come down from the tree, but these things just, like, it didn't even happen. <laughs> didn't even care. Kept moving no. quickly, right? He's not yeah. even moving slow. Yeah, and pellets are still stuck inside them. It's unbelievable how tough these things are. <laughs> so, 
You had a good time? Awesome. We have the best time hunting iguanas. So glad you came and met with Thank us. you so much for coming down to visit, man. Yes. Got you iguana. Got you iguana. <laughs> hey guys, we're, we're over at a spot. I guess that was a dove. Yeah. We were over at a spot that um, they get a few iguanas still. There used to be an abandoned house across the place, but now it's been filled with residents. So um, the iguanas have actually come back to this property now. And we're going to go see if we can get this one off the dock. The one on the dock, we might have to get with a pole, might be able to get with the gun. So we brought both to see what's the safest, best option to make sure we get it. There's all sorts of curly tails out here and little brown and old. It's a bird. Look at this big dinosaur size iguana next to this boat. Oh, yeah, yeah. We work over there sometimes. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and use the air rifle. We have a decent backstop here. I'm going to shoot on low. I'm going to go through between these two poles on the fence gate. About 15 yards. Ow. He's got a jump in the water on us, huh? For the second one, the third one, they're right here. You might have to pull them. There's boats in the background. We have two more iguanas right here on this dock. Ooh, they're wary. Look at him already looking to jump. He's going to jump on that black boat. Look at him, he's already gonna do it. There he goes. There's so much crud in the water, he's just walking on top of it. See him in the water, see him in the water? He can't walk the coconut spawn. There he is. He's going up the pile now. He's right there. I'm afraid of ricochet. Let's see if we can get a good shot. Let me get around you. <gasps> That's a dead sea turtle. Ugh. I wonder if we should record it. We should flip it and identify it. It's probably a green. It might be I'll like flip a it over and identify it in a minute. Freaking balloon. The iguana's still right here. I might be able to pull that. I'm gonna put this down and see if I can pull it. I don't want to get a ricochet on the concrete. And we did still have our other quarry fall right here. We don't want to lose. Where'd that iguana go? It was I got it. I got him, I got him, I got him. This is the one we shot. Caught Ooh. him right through the ear here. And then it came out over here on his face. And uh, man, I'm afraid the sea turtle's gonna float away. You know, the rules of finding something dead is you gotta poke it with a stick. So we're gonna definitely poke it in just a second. So um, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this sea turtle. And uh, it might be for no reason at all except to poke a dead animal with a stick. But we don't ever find dead sea turtles. Uh, I'll probably try to report it to FWC if they care or not. I don't know. Um, but we can't ID it unless we flip it over. At least I can. Um, but if we uh, can flip him over, we take a look at his shell. And we might get an idea of how he died. Does it look like that's bloating around his neck or a string around his neck? Is that deep increase? So what she's talking about is this right here. It's like he got it cord around his neck. Right, but I don't know if there's if that's actually the case. He's kind of heavy. Oops, that didn't work. Right. Look, look, look I mean, just, his shell's busted open. Just be like that from the pressure. I'm going to get him by a fin to flip him, the front fin. So, I think it's the hawk's bill that's really endangered. And um, the green sea turtle is the more common one that we get here. 
I've seen and put on video a couple times some greens that we've seen around. There we go. So that's from propellers probably chopping him up there. So boats hit this guy. Um, you can identify him by the, the scales on the head and how many scales are on his face right there. So um, definitely tore his shell up. Man, it'd be cool to keep, but probably like super illegal. Yeah, a shark wouldn't have did. Let that go. I don't think a shark did this. I think this is propellers. It would have had bite marks on the underside, so yeah. yeah. So to identify this turtle, you have to count the scales that are on his head and face, which are going to be right there. And so um, we're going to try to get a, a picture and side by side it for y'all and we'll be able to identify this turtle better. His shell is probably about, what, 18 inches long from the tip. That's his carapace, the top of his shell. And um, a sad loss for us, right? So, poor sea turtle. Let's go get that other one. Skewer. <laughs> Look at that. Skewer iguana. Except he's unharmed. He's unharmed. He's even happy about it. Got you, iguana. Pretty sure he went in this boat motor cover. I keep tripping on my shoelaces. He's right here. You need the pole? Yeah. Laying down hiding from us. There's dead iguana in the water. There's dead stuff all over the place here. So I think some of the residents here have air rifles. Wait, wait, wait. My and uh, they're trying to help out the environment. Got him by the back leg. Got him. Got you boat motor iguana. <laughs> 